Beep boop boop. What up? Good morning, my friends. Or as they say in Finland, good morning. Every great company has been through a rebrand. If they haven't, that's a very dangerous thing. That's called the assumption of perfection. So today I will be ranking the most recent big companies to go through a, a rebrand. And I have a list of 10 right here that I got from a website called Brand New. But I'll leave the link in the description below. Let's review the categories for ranking, okay? At the worst, worst possible thing you can do, stolen van. A little bit above that, Adobe crashed. Oh no, right in the middle, average, just living their life. Mr. C. Next up, we have Costco Food Court. Magnificent food at an affordable price for the average design champion. And at number one, King Savage. So let's get started with number one. Number one is GoDaddy. So here's what they had last on the left, and here's what they have now on the right. It's something, isn't it? Okay, let's look at some of the history. Uh, originally, it was this one. It's kind of a Ask Jeeves sort of a feel. Then there, then there, then there, now here. They have this icon here that they've tried to make look cool by putting illustrations in and out of it, kind of take away any kind of emphasis of the icon. Because this icon, I don't know what it is, okay? The typography, the changes they made, I, it's the exact same typography. I think it's just a little bit thinner. It looks better that way, that's good. And they went into black, sure, that's strong. But this icon, what is it? Two coffee beans on top of each other? Could be anything. So um, for that reason, it's gonna go into Adobe Crashed. I'm sorry, GoDaddy. Okay, number two comes to us from the brothers who are Warner. This is, there's a lot of them in here who were done by a design firm called Pentagram, and I believe this is one of them. Pretty controversial because Warner Brothers, I think it's always had like the 3D text. They did keep the shield, the overall shape. They kept the, uh, the letters pretty similar. They did make it taller and thinner, so it's a little bit more dangerous, isn't it? So they have two versions. They have a flat version, and then one of these, which reminds me of like uh, cartoons that Warner Brothers used to make. And this is a video they made of all the different ways you can mock it up. That's really sick. I like that a lot. Some of those were really awesome, but I only see them for like half a second. Look at this, they have all these setups. My only question on this rebrand is the colors. Look at this. How many colors are here? 50 11? No, there's four. I'm pretty sure there's four different blues. I don't understand that. That there's one blue, and then the font they did down here is a different blue. The the more blue the merrier apparently. <laughs> so I actually don't hate this redesign. I think it's very well done. It still keeps the heart of the original uh, icon, and it still allows for you to play with the logo in, in various ways. But the blue is really interesting. I don't know why there's so many different blues in it. So I am going to put it at Costco Food Court. All right, next up, we have the Bach that is Re, Reebok. I bet you awesome possums, maybe some of you knew, but probably a lot of you didn't know that this logo on the left, they used for like three or four years. I didn't know that. I was like, what happened to Reebok? Where are they? You might think that this on the right was their old logo and you'd be right, but there's some adjustments to it. They used to have this logo since like 92 or something like that. And then in 2014, they changed to this because they're trying to get into like CrossFit and general fitness, whatever. But then in like 2017, 18, 16, some year in those three year time frame, they switch back to this one. And they have a video explaining the difference between their old one and the new old one. Check it out, son. The Reebok Vic Vector, established in 92. Look at this. They straighten out the top line to create forward movement. That's what it does. They did the bottom ones to better align for stronger balance. And then they widen the channels. I like the word channels. I'm gonna use that whenever I have gaps. It's really cool. And there it is. There's the new old Reebok. A lot of people are saying that they brought back the old logo because they wanted to, you know, hop on the trend of, of being nostalgic and stuff like that. I don't think so at all. I think their old logo was cool then and it still is cool now. I put it in Costco Food Court because they just made the, a good decision of going back to the old logo that everybody knows them by. Um, but I, I won't put it in King Savage because there's really, you know, not, not too much new here. Okay, next up we have Slack Attack. 
what it do on the left you'll see their old logo and on the right you'll see their new logo this is another one by the pentagrams mm, mm. all right this one is interesting this one i think a lot of people don't really have a strong opinion on here's some of the stuff they're working with i think that their old icons here in the middle and on the right the old one was actually cooler i like that little uh quilted blanket over here with the S in it. It looks really cool when it's in your uh, Mac dock. The new stuff simplifies it, makes it easier to use, I suppose. I heard somebody say it looked like a like a windmill that has water dripping off of it. Um, I think the main issue with the old one is that there's literally like somewhere between 10 and 500 different colors in here. That being said, I'm gonna give it just an average Mr. C for whatever it gained in clarity and simplicity, it lost in representation of the product. Next one comes to us from Atlanta, Georgia. Pretty sure that's where they're headquartered. MailChimp, so cool. This is the icon from 2001, and then they did this 3D thing in 2009. And then today, we have this guy, pretty sick. So for a while they were using this, and then they dropped the monkey, and they were kind of just, most of the time you'd only see this, um, scripted font here. Here is the new stuff. I love this one. I think this is one of the coolest rebrands I saw in a long time. It's like a, serif, a sans serif font, but it has a lot of personality, doesn't it? I love the O's in this, the O dots. They like elongated on a little footballs now. And they simplified the uh, monkey a lot, uh, but he still has all the personality he had before. I really, I'm drawn to this kind of logo because I feel like that's, that's, that's kind of the stuff that I like to make. Um, and then one of the cooler thing was their little icon illustrations were really out of the box from what we saw at this time and still see today, I think. No, it, right? It feels very raw and artistic. I really like that a lot. So that being said, I will put MailChimp, I will lay it at the feet of King Savage. That's right. I think the rebrand gave it a very strong personality. It um, solved a lot of the issues they were having with the old logo font and the uh, old monkey being together. But that was perfect. I really liked that change. Okay, before we go to the next one, let me tell you about my half brother. His name is Skillshare. <laughs> You've heard it said before that Skillshare has thousands of creative people teaching sick baller classes. Not only is Skillshare lit, it's super lit. I'm currently taking a Blender course. I've been trying to learn Blender like three, four times in the past five years or so. But I've been taking a class by this guy who calls himself Remington. I don't know if it's his real name, but if it is, that's a spicy name. But so far it's really helped me get over the, the hurdle of, of being able to like actually mold the structure into what I have in my mind. And it's a really fun course. They're making little little characters. And each class has this little project section below where all the students who took the class can upload the work they made from the class. So it's always so fun perusing through all the classes and seeing what people made. If you happen to have the audacity to sign up for an entire year of premium membership, you can get access to all the classes for less than $10 per month. But even better, my sons and daughters, if this particular quarantining time presents you with the opportunity to learn a new skill or improve one you have, then go ahead and click my linky link in the description below and you will be given two free months. But it's only given to the first 1,000 people who sign up with the link below. So the question is, what can you learn in the next two months? Find out with Skillshare. And we're back like a chiropractor. This company really knows how to do a redesign. Not necessarily because it's good, but because they've done it a half a million times. Uber, talk about Uber, that's what it is. If you guys didn't know, this U is actually lowercase. And I dig it, <laughs> I like that idea. Um, yeah, but anyways, that's the one they were using before. And before that one, they were using this one on the left, which they changed in 2013. But this one on the left was really weak. Um, yeah, I think this was a good change because this one on the left feels very, very futuristic. A little bit too much. And the one on the right, while it doesn't have very much personality, it does look a lot more approachable and friendly. I think it's because of all the loops, man. And here I have a very visual chart of the icon changes. But this is what they did. My favorite is probably 2017 or 16. I really like this change, and if you look at the whole system, yeah, they sell it well. So I am actually 
going to put it in Costco Food Court because I think it was a change for the better. Okay, next up we have the Library of Congress. This is a library in Washington, D.C., and I think it's for uh, Congress people to use. <laughs> oh, the one on the left was their previous logo, which was already a redesign by a very famous firm. And then the one on the right is a new redesign by an even, by an even more famous firm. You will see on the right side that it says, not Library of Congress, but it says, in fact, Library, Library of Congress. <laughs> so this was their, uh, I guess, the original one, the Library of Congress on the left, and then they changed it to this iconic, uh, modernized book here. I really like this one a lot. So my thought on the changes here is probably the library wanted to go into a very, if you go to an art gallery in any large city, the branding will be a lot more like this. But I just don't think the design hits very well because it, you know, there is the redundancy of library, library of Congress. And then the way they've laid it out is pretty awkward. They could have just changed some of the, the typeface here to, to make it, bring it into the next, uh, decade and then they tried to sell it this way by like putting stuff in between the uh li the word library which is pretty cool but i still don't get why it says library library of congress but yes i think this i'm gonna put it in adobe crashed i don't think it's quite still in van level because it's, you know i understand what they were maybe trying to do i just don't think they did it that well so i'm gonna leave it in adobe crashed Okay, let's go on to the next one. Actually, let's speed to the next one because the next one we have Formula One. Now, the logo on the left is our old logo. If you haven't seen that before, there's a hidden one. It's very cool. It's not that hidden. It's pretty clear, which makes it fantastic. Awesome. And here is the new redesign that they used. Not bad. A lot of people think there's uh, issues with the first one in terms of like alignment and stuff. And but it is a very clever design. So I feel like in some ways we are, we're losing something, but I think we're gaining something in clarity again. Here I believe is the, the typography they have for it. Formula One, pretty nice. Wow, look at these guys, look at them. Here's something with a little bit of gradient 3D looking thing. Pretty cool, I think it makes it like a track or speed or something, but I would have moved it to the left like 10%. I feel like it's a little bit too long. But yeah, not a bad change in general. I'm just gonna put it in the Mr. C category because again, like Slack, what they lost in meaning, they added in clarity, which brings them back to just an even change. So nice. Next up, the greatest establishment since the Library of Congress, Taco Bell. If you didn't know, Taco Bell was founded in 1962 the same year my parents were founded. And it was founded in Downey, California, which is not far from here. I've been to Downey. Those were interesting times. And so this is uh, the logo change they made. I forgot what year, but sometime in the past five years. This is a very sad day. If you are like me, a connoisseur of American fast food. Taco Bell, 1962 have this fun little, looks like bingo, but then they have this, this awesome typography here, Taco Bell. And then in 85, they added the bell icon. And then in 92, they have this one. They made the bell swinging, gave it a lot of action, introduced the purple, which is kind of a strange color for food, but I, I love it, I really like it. Here, they got rid of some of the font, but they made the bell more prominent. Okay, anyways, so here, they simplified the bell quite a bit, but what they did, they were like, nah, that looks way too cool, way too appetizing. Let's just make it some very muted, not energetic purple. Take the font we had before that was pretty cool, had a little bit of personality, and let's just use the one that Illustrator starts with. The, the new one's not good, man. I don't dig it. I don't dig it at all. I think it was, I think it was the wrong move, sons. Okay, so Taco Bell, it will be the first stolen van. All right, next one, last one, is Chobani. This is a yogurt company, if you didn't know. But this was their old logo, and this is their new logo. Um, but here's some of the packaging. So this is what they used to look like on the left, and then here's their new schnazzle on the right. Pretty cool, before and after. Yeah, I love this typeface. And the color they chose, this like deep green. But the biggest thing for the packaging is that it used to be like bright and reflective. And now this new stuff, they have like a matte cover. So it gives it a little bit of matte texture, but it also like stops stuff, all the lights from shining on it, which in a weird way actually makes it way more appetizing, right? But personally, I love this rebrand. It actually affected me in my personal buying habits. Before with the logo on the left and their old packaging, I never ever looked at a Chobani thing ever. 
And then the new one, I found myself at a store. I was like, whoa, what's this? So I tried it and I like it. And I'm, I'm now, uh, I'm now a, a customer of Chobani. So this is a design change that very much changed my buying habits and got me to look at it and buy it. So maybe I am just a sheep, huh? Following what looks cool. That's the only thing I pay attention to. I will put it in King Savage because I think all the design changes were great. And then it also had like an effect, a business effect, I guess, from my perspective, because it was something I never looked at, never used. And after the change, I'm a big fan now. So in conclusion of my TED talk, we have one stolen van brand, Taco Bell bad moves. We have two Adobe crashes, GoDaddy. I don't know what's up with the icon. Library, why is it Library Library of Congress? Because there's so many words in there, they had to represent it. Mr. C, just average changes for what they improved. They also lost something, F1 and Slack. Costco Food Court, WB, I think they did well. If they were gonna rebrand it and modernize it, I think they did it in a, in a good way, but weird blue choices. Reebok, good decision to go back. It's nothing really new since that's what they had before. And then Uber, much more approachable, but nothing really over the top or, or crazy. And then King Savage level, who we've laid at the feet of our dear leader, MailChimp and Chobani. I think both of these brands aesthetically were improved and then also functionally were improved. Very excellent job. Okay, design champos, write in the comments below which redesign was your favorite redesign and which one was your least favorite. Would you agree with my list? Would you not agree? All right, stay awesome possum. I'll see you later, alligator. And um, if you guys have ideas for videos or content you'd like to see, shout me out, shout me out in the comments. All right, bye guys.